Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering and Lou. Lou's mixing everything. Uh, what I'm going to do today, I want to explain something to you guys. Um, fella here, he says, gee whiz, Kirk, how thick are you going to go to cover the cinder block? Now, as a rule, guys, when we do a scratch coat over paper and wire, we go three-eighths as a rule. That rule can be bent. When we do a brown coat, that's also three-eighths. That rule can be bent, too. A color coat is usually one-eighth of an inch. In 1926, La Habra came up with colored stucco. And there you have your system, your typical system, seven-eighths of an inch. When you go over block, if you only go three-eighths of an inch, like, say, a scratch coat, you'll sometimes see the grout, these grout lines. When it rains, you'll see the outline of all of the grout. So here's my suggestion for you folks who are going to do this, because I've been doing this well over 30 years. Half inch. What's half inch called? Is it called a scratch coat or a brown coat? No, neither. It's called a skim coat. A skim coat is one coat. You don't have to do two, it's one coat. You can double it up, but you do one coat. And I recommend a half inch over cinder block. And forget about this tile. Over the cinder block itself, I go a half inch. What I did is, I just come back from holiday. And I'm getting the feel of the stucco again, because it's been a while since I've plastered. Yeah, Jay's been plastering. Lou's been helping, but uh, it's been a while for me, so let me see if I still know how to do this stuff. But here's what you do, guys. Using my big Congo trowel, you want to go a half inch. So you put your first coat on, and here we actually have a, a ground. What, is, what does a ground mean? Let me finish with my coat here. A ground is this right here. See? This is right here out about seven eighths of an inch, almost a half inch to seven eighths. And what we're when we're done, we want it to come flush with this base. So there it is. So anyway, guys, what this is about is a half inch thick, and it just takes practice, guys. And even a fellow like me, even if I haven't done this for oh a couple weeks. Just like riding a bike, you never forget. And what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm using a pretty big trowel and I'm using heavy sand. Here's another thing heavy sand, guys. Heavy sand is kind of a drag to use because it's, it's heavy. Our normal sand is felton sand. What is felton sand? Well, it's fine sand. It's very similar to only sand. It's, it's called plaster sand. Now notice as I'm doing the stucco work here. See all that heavy sand? It, it's kind of a, it's a little tougher to spread, but it's like Jason was spreading a soffit the other day and he was using the same heavy sand. Why am I using heavy sand? Because of the finish. We're going to do a dash finish or a, a float finish here. And what's a float finish? That means you use the heavy sand like this and then we float it rather than dash it. If I were to use Felton sand or Oli sand, I'd have to float it and then I'd have to come back and throw a finish on it. With this, because it's so heavy, we're going to match the finish of the house over there, which is uh, a painted dash. So here's how I'm going to do my corner. Just flam. And just take it straight up. You really want it uh, perfect corner. You get the idea, guys. I'm going to go ahead and not bore you with this whole whole job, but I figured I'd point out the fact that we are going with heavy sand, a lot of it's much more difficult, and the fact that we only want to go in a uh, a half inch, guys. 
not three eighths, otherwise the block will show. And I'm talking a half inch past the actual cinder block. Anyway, guys, when we get done, we'll show you the final. All right, guys, we're going to show you what it looks like now. We used a heavy sand. Why did we use that heavy sand? Because it's easier to float. You can float it and make it appear like what they have. Here, in here, I'll show you what they have. Okay. And here's the mark of a true professional. <laughs> Where we got stucco next to the house, always put an expansion. Otherwise, it's going to hairline crack there anyhow. This is what we're, we're matching. It's a painted uh, dash finish, and it's been painted about 10, 15 times. So when this is painted, all you need is a primer and a top coat, and that matches. Anybody says, well, gee whiz, paint it 10 more times, and it'll match. They're not as good as us. Anyway, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. We thank you folks for watching, and as usual, see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching, and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.